What's up guys, RBG here, bringing you some major news regarding Marvel's Avengers. In case you've been living under a rock, you may have noticed the overwhelming amount of backlash the game has been getting. About a week ago, Crystal Dynamics released a patch that they claim would fix over a thousand issues such as graphical glitches and progression stoppers. But this little update managed to do more harm than good. Many players have suggested that things have gotten worse with some reporting that all their achievements were erased after putting in hundreds of hours, which is a major bummer, like I can only imagine what it would feel like. You're enjoying the game to the fullest and out of nowhere it deletes all of your data with no explanations given. There's also been the complaints regarding the latest missions such as the heroic gauntlets that demand the players to go in solo and play through 8 elite hives. And even though it allows you to play with another character when your previous one has died, it's pretty much pointless because it reduces your chances of getting exotic gear which is some of the most desired perks to have if you're in the end game portion of the game. But we gotta give props where it's due. The devs have been listening to all our complaints and even though some patches don't fully address everything, they at least do a good job of promptly tackling the many issues the game bears. Something that I don't think people take into consideration is the fact that these guys are doing this from their homes. Like I can only imagine how difficult it is to work on a game away from the studio so we have to acknowledge that they're at least trying to iron out all the kinks during this global pandemic. As you've read by the title, they've come out with another patch that does more than just fix the numerous bugs. They've also added certain features that fans have been asking for since the beta. So I want to elaborate on them and give suggestions on things that we should get in the future. Firstly, Crystal Dynamics mentions that they have fixed a handful of major issues, including a fix for players being unable to accept faction missions slash villain sectors. Since the bug prevented players from being able to earn specific rare rewards, they're giving us 250 Polychron and 500 Uru, and that's a pretty generous thing for them to do, because you're going to need those resources to upgrade some of your more demanding gear like the epics and legendaries, which I still think need to be toned down a little because leveling up one legendary can quickly consume things like your upgrade modules, but I digress. If you want to gain access to these accommodations, you might want to jump on the game immediately because as I'm making this video, they'll be available on the 24th until October the 1st, 10 a.m. PDT. So get them while they last and use them wisely. But moving on, the next thing they address is the issues regarding the reassemble campaign and Avengers Initiative. Both modes bear numerous problems, from taking too long to load up or not load up at all. For the most part, those issues have been somewhat rectified, but there were other things such as the once an Avenger mission that would occasionally send players to a completely different mission. But this will apparently be fixed along with an issue that keeps some mission chains such as the reigning supreme from completing properly when all the requirements are met. Moving on to my favorite fix, we have the combat. If you've run across me online, then you know that I absolutely hate how this game randomly places gear chests in certain locations that can't be accessed unless you have a specific character. While it's cool that it can be easily remedied if you're playing with another human online who just so happens to have a character that can hack or smash through walls, it absolutely sucks when you're playing by yourself with AI companions. Whenever you just so happen to have a character that doesn't know how to hack like Widow or smash walls like the Hulk or Kamala, you have to find little ways to get around that like waste your ultimate heroic for Iron Man so he can break through a door with the Hulkbuster. But sometimes you just have to take that L and keep it moving if you're playing with someone like Captain America. I found it so funny that he can tackle all these robots through these glass containers in the CG trailer, but he couldn't break down a simple door in the actual game, even though his super soldier infused body is supposed to boast a lot of power. But thankfully, Crystal Dynamics has answered our prayers and they've actually made it to where Cap can actually smash through glass doors instead of looking stupid smacking his shield on them. I'm still hoping that they give us a feature that allows us to command a character to perform these actions if they're on my team, but for the time being, this is a big step in the right direction. Besides the combat issue, they fixed another issue where the overcharge meters were inappropriately decreasing during a team finisher. I personally never had this issue, but it's nice that they were able to rectify this problem. But the next batch of fixes we have are in regards to the tuning. Crystal says that they've improved the responsiveness when entering sprint flight from jumping as Iron Man, and they've improved the responsiveness on Thor's light air hammer attacks. The reliability on Iron Man's thruster uppercut has also been improved along with the presentation of Captain America's sprint blocking. And last but not least, they tuned the spin keeper's standard attack, reduced the hero drain, and added an off-screen attack indicator. And thank god, because these guys are the bane of a lot of players' existence. So it's a good thing that they're getting somewhat nerfed to help alleviate the frustration of the players during things like Mega Hives. I'm pretty happy with some of the fixes regarding Iron Man and Thor, but I feel like Cap still has a way to go in terms of glitches. 
Like I'm not sure if any other cap players have been getting this issue, but occasionally my cap shield's animation gets stuck in place causing this weird flicker effect, and there are times where he won't throw the shield at all, and the only way to remedy this problem is to perform a dodge roll. So I'm hoping that Crystal Dynamics has heard about this little problem and will eventually get around to fixing it, because it can be a bit cumbersome when you're surrounding a room full of enemies, but you can't throw your shield when you're clearly pushing the throwing button. So yeah, fix that and all the cap players can sleep peacefully. But moving on, the developers address some of the annoying projectile issues this game has. I'm pretty sure many of you all can relate with me when I say that there's nothing like mowing down waves of aimbots only to have a missile or quantum energy ball hit you while you're not looking. And even if you are looking and try to evade the blast, they still manage to follow you and ultimately hit you as if you were a magnet. This can be a pain in your side since it's already difficult keeping an eye on everything going on in one room. But according to this information, things like the homing attacks will be more balanced and happen less frequently. The devs also increased the global cooldown for quantum homing projectile attacks and they adjusted quantum shard projectiles so they are no longer unblockable, which is dope. These particular fixes are really going to level the playing field when it comes to projectile users such as the missile launcher wielding enemy types. Now, in regards to things such as the rewards, the devs have stated that the bug that causes weekly missions to crash when it's refreshed has been fixed, and that weekly missions should now appear as intended, but they've temporarily disabled refreshing incomplete challenges, and the functionality won't be back until the next update. So to the players who like refreshing certain challenges because you feel like they're too much of a grind, you'll have to wait a little while until they give you that option back in the next update. Moving on, they say that they addressed an issue where the villain sectors would not properly refresh, which caused players to miss out on weekly rewards. They fixed additional issues that prevented daily requisitions from clearing as intended, and they granted players the iconic Iron Man outfit if they lost it due to an outfit bug. They also fixed a broken legendary reward that was incorrectly set to power level 1. For the rest of the list, they say they have addressed issues with the insurmountable perk which was being applied to gear drops, fixed an issue where some players weren't being rewarded after completing an elite heroic hive run, guarded against a specific scenario that caused Kamala to lose a skill point, and they're still investigating a retroactive fix. They've also adjusted loot tables in Mega Hives to increase the chances of additional loot will be rewarded. Now, I've never really had most of these issues, but I actually have had the zero reward after completing the Elite Heroic Hive mission, which is a complete bummer considering that I had to keep my head on a swivel with one character throughout the entire mission. And don't get me started on how I think it was so ridiculous that I was playing on Challenge 4. I've heard other players say that they scored a 100% while playing on Brutal Difficulty and they didn't come across any exotics, which kind of blows my mind because once you get to your end game build you want something that's gonna motivate you to keep playing like blue gear drops should pretty much be non-existent once you get to 130 and while legendary gear does give you some cool effects they occasionally start to take up too much space in your inventory so i'm hoping that we get better rewards for playing on these high settings i also hope they consider letting players play alongside others online as opposed to one shotting it alone in these mega hives if you ask me these 14 floor missions should have had multiplayer off the bat because it keeps the players on their toes not to mention, it would be a lot more interesting to have conversations while playing these insanely long missions. And I know some say that will water down the difficulty, but there are still players out there who have in-game builds but don't fully grasp how to go about playing with certain characters. Like I've had to play alongside a Hulk with a power level of 130, but the guy kept dying on me in every room. And as you all know, if someone dies within your party, it'll completely ruin your mission score. So yeah, there's definitely still a learning curve there, and having other players in Mega Hives won't necessarily make them easy to conquer and they still got to fix some of the other issues regarding those missions like the enemies that get stuck behind doors when you're on certain levels i know that can be rectified by simply restarting from the last checkpoint but if you're in a mega hive or heroic gunlet and you come down to the last enemy who just so happens to be stuck behind a door chances are you're going to be pissed that you have to fight all those elite aim units all over again simply because one got stuck somewhere that you couldn't reach so hopefully they work on that too but anyways there are other things the devs talked about addressing but they won't be able to do this until to another particular patch so i think i've covered everything i needed to in this video if you had a chance to play the game with this new patch let me know what you think about it do you like the fact that the developers are at least listening to our criticisms or do you think that there are just too many bugs that make the game unplayable let me know down in the comments below as always i ask you like or dislike the video it doesn't have to be a thumbs up it can be a thumbs down any feedback is good feedback and will only help me improve on my future content. But if you really enjoyed the video, it would help me out tremendously if you shared it with all your friends and followers on social media. The YouTube algorithm isn't doing your boys any favor right now, and I need all the love I can get to get this video out. But this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.